PCA is one of, definitely one of my like. I always look forward to going to PCA every year. One, there's like the main events at 10 million guaranteed. Then they have like a bunch of side events. For me personally, like they're my favorite. They have like 5K turbo no limit tournaments that are over in one day. You put up 5K and you can win like 100, 120, 130,000. I mean, you can't really beat that. And then uh, besides that, the action with cash games, I mean, they have like, you know, private games here and condos and, and side games at the casino. But, you know, and it's the Bahamas. Everyone comes to fly to the Bahamas. It's the Caribbeans. They want to come and enjoy themselves, have a good time, and also play some poker. And, you know, we got basically all of that here. My biggest cash is the main event when I came seventh for 1.7. Busted before this main event, he has resurrected himself by making the final table. My biggest loss in the cash game session in one period of time was like close to 400,000. It was in commerce, it's 2008. I mean, if I would have to say like who's one of the best and that I think is like overall most solid poker player, probably be Phil, Phil Ivey, you know? I remember, uh, I remember way back in the day, uh, my friend Mark Newhouse, who just recently made the final table, after he had won the Borgata WPT, he, they were all playing shuffleboard for stupid money. Like, uh, you know, sorry buddy to put this out there, but it's, everyone knows anyways who knows you, so. But Mark lost like, you know, six figure numbers just playing shuffleboard. I remember that was kind of, that was a good, entertaining little game to watch. There's definitely betting outside of the poker, off the poker table. It just depends amongst, like, within who. Because there's a lot of players that are nits and just play poker and have that discipline mentality and lifestyle where they don't gamble in the casino. But then there's, you have your other players that aren't afraid to gamble and just make crazy prop bets and stuff outside of poker. I think the lifestyle outside of poker that people don't see behind, like, uh, closed doors. I mean, the best way that I would describe it is somewhat, it can be close to like somewhat of like a rock star lifestyle. I mean, you know, a lot of players, they travel the world and they go party, a lot of nice clubs all over, you know, everywhere and just nice restaurants, whatever. And yeah, you see us play main events and poker tournaments and travel the world, but that's just like such a tip of the iceberg up to what else we do. I mean, bring money with you because you're going to need some money down here if you really want to like have a good time and, and, you know, play all the events that you, you want to play. But, uh, I mean, just that and, you know, just be smart. Like, you don't have to really, uh, there's, there's so much stuff for you to do down here at the PCA. You know, you don't have to get caught up in, in every little part of it. You could take your time and still uh, enjoy yourself and enjoy the scenery and what you got around you, you know.